Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we've got another bag of two pound coins to be hunting for, we've got 500 pound uh, Today as I record this it is the 27th of August, I picked it up on the 26th of August so the bag's be at the 24th, so we're fairly new, I'm on my own some today um, Sarah's a bit busy once again um, I'm not going to show the albums, uh, I think everybody knows what we'd sort of need we need four for album number three, and we need probably about seven or eight, I think, for album number four. So I'm going to get straight into this. Bit of a speed hunt as best we can. And hopefully we won't get anything like we did last week. We had uh, 13 comedies, I think, in the end. So let's count these. One, two, three... Three, twenty-four, and one makes twenty-five. So let's see what we have today. And our first commemorative of today, the uh, Trinity House, two thousand and fourteen. Reasonably low minted, but uh, it's not one I tend to keep unless it is reasonably in good condition. And there's our first army centenary. Don't think it'll be the last somehow. Lords to the end. And first Shakespeare, that's a tragedy, what a piece of work, so that's a normal edge inscription. Another tragedies. Piece of work, man. And straight out of that one, we've got uh, a World War One centenary coin with Lord Kitchen on it, and it uh, has two pounds on the obverse at the bottom, so it isn't the mule. It's not in too bad condition that one. Another Trinity House. Coins do uh, get checked again at the end of the video. See if we find any uh, rotation errors. Of Union, again, quite a common coin that one. <laughs> and just to prove my point, there is another one. Shakespeare histories. Hollow crown. Some pulls, I think. That's, that's another one for the money box. And another Trinity House. Now that one is in fantastic condition, and that one is going to be kept. Just having a quick look on the obverse, there's no any crud errors or anything like that, but that's that's in very good condition. And our first Brunel coin of the day. It's the arches at Paddington Station. Been one of Brunel's achievements. And the abolition of the slave trade, 2007, which I've now started to call the tea time coin. Uh, 
nobody knows what I mean, it means it's 1807, so it's 7 minutes past 6. Uh, right, next bag. 2015, I'm probably going to be whizzing through the 2015s, not uh, really going to be checking them. Uh, another tragedies, another what a piece of work. Another tragedies. Another chance of a red edge inscription error, but that is again the right one. Another mucky Charles Dickens. Hmm. Definitely not one worth keeping that one. Another St. Paul's. The day anniversary. So that's uh, two for the money box now. Uh, rugby World Cup. It's the very first bimetallic commemorative from 1999. Another St. Paul's. A few in this one. Starting off with a, another Army Centenary. And our first comedies of the day. I managed to nab 13 last week. Shakespeare histories. First, Marconi coin of the day. Wireless transmissions. And we've got a very, very nice shiny Florence Nightingale, which a lot of people uh, favourite this one from 2010. Really good condition. A few more shiny coins in this one. Starting off with another Army Centenary. Another Shakespeare comedies. Charles Dickens. Which again isn't in good condition either. Another Trinity house, that's 48. It's very rare I even get one, but never mind four. Shakespeare tragedies, what a piece of work. Another comedies. Gunpowder plot. So 2005. You would think that looks like 2007, but uh, probably it's the way the did their fives and another army centenary we finished that off oh, we've nearly got the match completed with uh, all the sort of the low value commemorators I would say and some people keep uh, the comedies etc but there's over four million we get lots up uh, in the northeast Centenary yet again. Army Centenary on the top of that one. And another wireless transmission. Oh. Something different for the idea. Robert Burns. This one's got uh, should all the quint and be forgot around the edge. Probably the best find up there now, I think. Apart from the shiny uh, friendly house. Uh, another army centenary, slightly different colour to the rest. 
we're down to five bags now, including this one. Oh dear, got another army centenary, but we'll start off with a Shakespeare tragedies. Oh, what a piece of work as a man. Um, army centenary again and again. Got Brunel, that's the first one to date. Of the portrait. Trying to read this edgy inscription here. It is the right one. All the space is filled. That's the army centenary again. There's only the star finds down the bottom that I would fill. Another wireless transmission to kick that bag off. Another Shakespeare histories. Shiny 2011, which is the other uh, to uh, get most of the fakes. Another army centenary again, got a bit of a stack coming up there. My theory is that uh, I mean, the nine and a half million vintage on the uh, army centenary, I think quite a lot have just gone into circulation because the uh, annual report did say there was nine million issued into circulation of two pound coins, which I think the majority might be Shakespeare's and uh, the Army Centenary. Right, last bag. Uh, nothing to write home about up to now, but if you've enjoyed the hunt, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, the notification bell if you hit that will keep you up to date with any uploads I do. Another Charles Dickens. I've had three today and all of them are in pretty bad condition and the last coin is absolutely nothing um, probably the star find Robert Burns however I would say the Florence Nightingale and where's that other shiny a couple of shiny ones which uh, might be and upgrading some of the albums so that's it for today um, again thanks for watching so until next time uh, keep on hunting enjoy yourselves and I'll see you in the next one bye for now